first thing I do to start my nights is set the vibe with a candle or incense, anything to make my space feel really cozy and smell nice. And then it's time to nourish the body and prepare a quick dinner. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how I make my current favorite dinner of all time. And I'm gonna make a salmon salad bowl. You need a chopped salad of your choice, random like sweet kale one that I got from Publix. You need some Brussels sprouts some salmon i just got this frozen one from walmart and tzatziki sauce and it takes literally 20 minutes or less to prepare so let me show you how i do that so i lined a little baking sheet with some foil and added my brussels sprouts and salmon i'm just gonna season them really quickly some olive oil a little salt and pepper some garlic powder and I like my salmon really well seasoned. So I also add some cayenne pepper, the tiniest bit of turmeric. A little trick is I like to add some honey, get it really crispy on top, and also add a little bit of sweetness. Then I just toss this into the air fryer for about 15 or 20 minutes at 375, super easy. While that's cooking, we're gonna get started on the salad. I know you're not supposed to technically watch TV while you're eating, but I just need to have a cute little show in the background to enjoy my food. Lately, I've been watching the live action remake of Avatar The Last Airbender. Can't really decide how I feel about it yet, so leave me a comment below if you've watched it and what you think of it. but I was gonna jump into the shower and just rinse off before going to bed. But I remember that I have these bath bombs and I really wanna use one of these. And I just feel like there's something about relaxing your muscles and marinating in some hot water before going to bed that just makes me sleep like a baby. I think I'm gonna try this sleep bath bomb tonight, which has lavender and vanilla in it. You literally cannot go wrong with lavender and vanilla. Let's talk a little bit about skincare. I just have really sensitive skin and used to have a lot of acne scarring. I used to exfoliate the heck out of my skin, like do the most to try to get all those blemishes off. And the best thing I ever did for myself was to just let my skin heal by itself to not overdo it. So I'm gonna show you my really simple, like five step skincare routine that I do pretty much every night. Starting off with double cleansing, I no longer use makeup wipes. I was so sad when I heard that they're so bad for you because they're so easy to use. But we're done with that. So the first step is to go in with the Ellen May Pre-Collagen Cleansing Balm. I honestly swear by this. I've gone through like four jars of this thing. You just need a really small amount and you just rub that into your dry skin. I just use a wet towel to, you know, get it off my face. Probably should not be doing my skincare with long sleeve pajamas, but... It is what it is. If you wear lash extensions like me, use a little q-tip and just go along the edges of your eye to make sure you get that makeup off too. Next, I go in with a cleanser. I'm not really too picky with my cleansers as long as they're gentle and foaming. This is the one by Tatcha, the matcha cleanser. I've been using it for a little while now and it's really good. I'm a big fan. Just put a little bit on my hands and wet that and then go right in. It honestly falls really nicely. Now the face is all fresh and clean. And next is toner. I used to skip this step all the freaking time, but it's made such a difference. This one I've been liking by Peach and Lily. It's the Wild Dew Treatment Essence. I just put it onto my hands and sort of pat that in. Every time I do my skincare, I realize how aggressively I pat my face, so I need to try to chill. It has a really light scent. A lot of the products I use are not heavily scented because I find that those irritate my skin a lot. So everything I'm using is very 
lightly scented or completely unscented. Now going into serums. If you have room to splurge, I swear by the Aesop Niacinamide Serum. It's actually called the Lucent Facial Concentrate. And I swear this helped me clear up those acne scars so much. I'm no professional, I'm no scientist, but just take my word for it. If you can splurge on this, do so. If not, I've started using the Coco Kind Chlorophyll Discoloration Serum, which is also really good. Both of these have a very similar consistency, like they're very viscous, and I love a good viscous serum. Just a couple drops on the face. Don't forget to bring down anything you're using on your face down to your neck. Don't neglect the neck. We're not done just yet. Two more things to go. I will go in with a moisturizer. Depending on how dry my skin feels, I'll either go with a really like thick one, like this one from Summer Fridays, Rich Cushion Cream Ultra Plumping Moisturizer. Definitely on the thicker side. If I'm feeling a bit less dry, I'll go in with the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream, which is just a little bit thinner and waterier. A little goes a long way. And then the very last step that I like to do is an under eye cream. These are my two favorite ones, the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment that has avocado in it and the L'Occitane Under Eye Cream. This one's a bit bougier, but I'm gonna use it tonight because it feels really nice. It's literally almost done, no. And sometimes I'll put what's left over on my smile lines, little life hack. I swear it's been helping reduce the appearance of them because I have really deep smile lines. Then I'm gonna finish everything off with a little lip balm. This one is the one by Laneige. And we are all done with our skincare. The last part of my night routine is one that I just started incorporating recently. If you haven't been seeing this all over TikTok, essentially it's called the Sleepy Girl Mocktail and it's supposed to help you get better sleep. You only need three ingredients, magnesium powder, which I got from Whole Foods, tart cherry juice, I just got this at Publix, a little bit of ice and then you just top it off with a fizzy drink. I like to use a poppy because it tastes really nice and that's literally it. I'm not even exaggerating, this drink will knock you out until 10 a.m. the next morning. And with that, we conclude our little night routine. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.